Sports and new developments to the murder investigation in Brownsville. A third arrest made this week in connection with the death of a 15 year old with special needs. Let's get straight to Channel 5 Stephanie Rosales. She's live near the Brownsville home where the boy was found. Stephanie, who was arrested and what charges are they facing? The person who was arrested is the mother of a suspect who has already been charged in this case. 59 year old Rebecca Garza was arrested yesterday. She's been charged with failure to report a felony. Police say she's the mother of Noah Garza. He is the common law husband of the teen's aunt, Julie Brewington. Police were called out to the home last week. The call was about an unresponsive person at the home. Police say when they showed up here, they found the 15 year old boy dead. We're told there was evidence of foul play. Brownsville police talking to us today about how hard this case is. The child is not theirs. So that is right now what the detectives are trying to piece together is how is that the child got there in the first place. They've been trying to try and locate next of kin. They've been trying to locate the parents. It's kind of uh, very difficult because the child was autistic, nonverbal. Uh, we haven't found any records of him in any of our schools, so it's, it's making it difficult. We're told the suspects are not being very cooperative with police about where the boy's parents are. Results of a preliminary autopsy report came back earlier this week, but a cause of the boy's death could not be determined. Results of a full autopsy report are still pending. Those should be coming up in about a month. Live in Brownsville, Stephanie Rosales, Channel 5 News at 6.